Hey, what's going, what's going on, everybody, man? It's award-winning filmmaker Michael Moroy, creator of TwoRealForTV.com. On YouTube, they have a series that's going on with a lot of photographers and video producers, and it's called What's in Your Camera Bag? A lot of times people ask me what equipment I use and things like that, so I wanted to participate in it and tell you what was in my camera bag. Uh, most of the times when I see people do these videos, it's more or less a thing amongst photographers where they're almost borderline competing and talking about on the cameras on a more professional level. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk to the people that are trying to get into it, uh, maybe trying to take it serious or step their game up to another level and just show you what's in my personal camera bag and what works for me. First off, this is my camera bag. This is a bag I got off Amazon. Very good, sturdy bag. I love this bag. Uh, bag only cost me like 40 bucks and it does everything I want it to do in great shape. First thing in my camera bag is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. A lot of times people was asking me, well, why do you have the MacBook Pro in 13 inches? And uh, I told them, of course, I already have the 15 inch MacBook Pro, but the 13 inch MacBook Pro, I got it for the sole purpose to fit inside my camera bag. So, yeah, MacBook Pro. That's for me to edit, so when I'm out of town and things like that, if I'm in a hotel room, I have to get through doing a shoot, I can go straight to work. Bust the bag open, bam. First thing I pull up out of here is the hard drive. The Lacey hard drive is the rugged. This one got the rubber on it, so it's shockproof. And what I do with this is it's 500 gigabytes. You can also get them in one terabyte or two terabyte, but it's a great companion for the MacBook Pro when I'm editing. So if I shoot, I come back to the hotel, boom, I'm ready to rock and roll. So there we got that. Okay, let's bust out the starter show. This is my DSLR Canon 7D. I like this camera a lot. I enjoy it. Um, shoots in slow motion, amongst other things. Um, a lot of people will say, this is 7D, 5D is a full frame sensor, the 7D is not. Well, technically speaking, you won't be able to tell the difference. So don't fall off into that technical stuff. Oh, it's a full frame sensor because by the time it's delivered to you on DVD or it's delivered to you on YouTube, you won't be able to tell the difference. You'll have to crop it anyway. So it's Canon 7D body. Love this camera. Nice, sturdy, good dude. Star of the show. And for a while, I was really against the DSLR cameras because I was stuck on, you know, I came up during the time of mini DV was the hottest stuff. I was shooting with the Canon XL1. I like Canons, that's why I stuck with it. I started off with the Canon XL1. So the Canon XL1 um, used to shoot on mini DV, which is a good backup. A lot of times, hard drives, they crash on you, you lose all your stuff. But what I've learned is that's just a part of the game. You're going to have to start backing up your hard drives one way or the other. But this is, saves you time. When you shoot on mini DV tapes, uh, if you had 12 tapes at an hour piece, it's going to take you 12 hours real time just to capture it and digitize the footage. This right here, you're shooting it on an SDHC card. It's all digital files. And it's going DTE, direct to edit. So coming in, boom, after the shoot, boom, put it straight on the hard drive, boom. We rocking and rolling, man. Rocking and rolling. Okay, y'all come on over here. Let me show y'all some glass. Um, glass is another word for lenses. This is the main lens that I use. It's the 18 millimeter, 18 by 135 millimeter. Uh, I feel comfortable with this. It, sh it shoots video great, and it also shoots photos great. And my, actually, you can put this lens on this camera, and while shooting video, I can snap pictures mid in the mix of while I'm shooting the video. Really, really, really cool. Really cool feature. So, um... Right here, I also have another lens, which has become very popular. This is called the 40 millimeter pancake lens. It's called the pancake lens for obvious reasons. It's thin like a pancake. It only has one button on it. Auto, auto focus and manual. 40 millimeter. They have another lens that's a small, short lens like this, like a 50 millimeter, but it's made out of plastic. And no, it doesn't compare to this. The 40 millimeter lens is cool, but this shoots um, like short distance up close and it has a shallow depth of field. Me being a documentary filmmaker, um, when I'm shooting something, I may want to get what's ever in the background as well because I want you to see the film and I want you to get the feel like you're there. So if I'm interviewing you and, and there's stuff going on in the background, I want to get that whole environment. So when you're watching it, you could be like, oh, okay, look at that going on. It all adds to the effectiveness of, effectiveness of it. A lens like this is cool. If I'm just on a day out, I throw that on there. I'm taking photos shoot a little interview with somebody. If I'm shooting an interview one-on-one -on -one with somebody in front of a black backdrop, this is perfect. It's real crisp, clear, colors pop. I like it. 40 millimeter pancake lens. Right here, 
I have a light panel light. This is pretty cool. So when I'm doing videos, so when I'm doing shoots inside of a club, or some or someplace dark, or even if I'm in something like a car show, like Hot and Poor Nights, where it's really dark in there, you know, you get this, so it's cool enough where you can um, get the colors of the car and things like that. The thing I like about this is that you can cut it on and make it brighter or or dim it for whatever level that you need it to be. And I got that for the dirty too as well. Pretty cheap. Get you one. Um, right here we got the right here I got my hood lens. You know, so when you got boom. And of course I got an extra battery. And I got a extra backup uh, compact flash card. This is a 32 gigabyte in the camera right now. I have a 16 gigabyte. I've done shoots, plenty of video shoots with a 16 gigabyte, and I've never ran out of space. But I keep a 32 gigabyte because you never know if I'm out and about and I don't have time to go dump the footage back down to the hard drive. I got that on standby. Uh, of course, we in the back also have the uh, the charger, of course. And of course, if you look right here, I got all the accessories that's needed as far as the power drive, the power to the MacBook Pro batteries, cables, everything that I need right there. On the side, even even on the side right here, I got the uh, the Canon lens kit to clean the lens. You know? And right here, I got a real cool toy, which is a battery grip. The battery grip is for if you have if you if you're gonna be out on a long shoot, like let's say you're gonna do a club or something like that, and you're gonna be gone for a while, you don't have time to go back to charge your battery up. So with something like this, let me demonstrate actually. Something like this, this is like I'm putting an extra clip in your pistol. So you take battery number one, slide that in there, boom, and you go over here, give y'all full demonstration of the, of the camera transforming. You take battery number two, put that in there. Also, now you have two batteries instead of one. I've never ran out of battery juice, and I've been and I've done shoots sometime where it might last me seven, eight hours, and I've never ran out of battery juice. How long do they exactly last? I don't know the text, but but the cool thing about the battery grip is it has the same buttons on the battery grip that it does up here, so it feels very comfortable and it's built like with the same body as the. Canon 7D, so it just feels natural, you know. So, I'm doing a shoot, bam, and I need to get to the controls right there, bam, bam, bam. It's cool. So, matter of fact, since I got it on there, let me go ahead and do a fully transfer of this. So, if I'm doing a shoot, you call me to your town, and we're doing a shoot, and we're gonna be out all day, bam, we're fully equipped now. I got the 18 135 millimeter. I got the battery grip on there. And if we're gonna be out at nighttime, because I got the backpack, I could just throw the light on there. And we really ready to rock and roll. So back in the days when I used to have the Canon XL1, I'd have to carry extra battery packs, the big heavy battery packs to keep the lights going and all that. Now, this is all I need. This is all I need. And now I'm ready to rock and roll. You know, a doctor has a practice, a lawyer has a firm. Every artist needs a studio. Whatever kind of artist you are, whether you're a dance artist, whether you're a rapper, whatever you are, you need a studio. This here is my studio in a bag. You know, when I first started, I had everything big. I had the big Pelican case, I had the big XL1, I had the big lights. Even in my editing studio, uh, some of you have been there, I got the big 21 inch screens. I thought that's what you needed. I saw a documentary by Lil Wayne, and he was recording in a documentary called The Carter. He was recording songs on this little portable studio. And I was so impressed. I was like, because you know, I've been to Patchwork Studios, Batcave, I've been all over the country in big studios, and they got these big eight tracks and all this. And I'm just thinking, like, that's what you need to produce the type of quality music, but here it is, this is the number one rapper in the world, he's making platinum records, and he had a portable studio. So that let me know that sometimes you don't need to have the biggest things in the world. You, Everything I need to make a full production, documentary, film, or whatever the case may be right here. Of course I got rigs, of course right here, if you look over here, I got the cranes, uh, that's a 14 foot Pro-Am camera crane. 
and then we got the lights of course and I got the rigs and all that type of stuff but generally speaking everything I need for what I do is right here now if you shoot and document sports you might need more glass you might need a bigger lens because you need to capture somebody running fast 100 yards away I don't do that or if you're in a wildlife and you can't get that close up on a wild bear you know you need bigger lenses you need other stuff in your bag I don't do that for what I do if I get off the plane I can hit the ground I'm ready to rock and roll everything I need right here now if I feel like it I take this little extra dude with me right here this is like magical I love opening up this thing it's like mm, like the golden child mm -hmm. This is the wireless microphone system I have. I got the lavalier and I got the hand uh, handheld. The handheld is cool for if I'm doing interviews. Many of you, these are flags. These are both flags. Um, flag is this, of course, the stuff you see on the news, and you may have seen on some of my movies on TwoRealForTV.com. You know, it's got the transmitter and things like that. So, this is if I'm going to be doing that type of interviews with people on the streets or something like that or if, whatever the case may be. Also have the wireless lavalier mic that you pin to their collar so when you're doing an interview you can get all your audio properly. Very vital part of uh, my combination. This actually cost me a little money though. When I bought it, it was a few years ago, I think I paid like 1500 I don't know how much they're going for now. But then now they have systems, it's probably even better. So, this here, grab this bag. And I'm ready to rock and roll. I can I check on the plane with this and I'm gone. Sometimes I don't even take that with me because it's not necessary. I might just throw a road mic on top of there and then I'm gone. But everything I need is right here in this bag. And that's uh, that's about it. So, what's in my camera bag? I made this because sometimes I get a lot of interviews. People ask me um, what kind of camera you use. Or they're interested in what they should get or what, they, what camera is the best. And I'm going to tell you what camera is the best. Whatever camera you got your hands on, you know what I mean? Like I've shot stuff with a $100 Radio Shack uh, Ecstasy camera, which is the camera I'm actually shooting with right now, handheld camera. So a lot of times people get caught up in what they need to shoot with. Or what it, man, you, all the equipment is cool, but nothing replaces creativity. So you have to be creative in whatever you do. I don't care if you're shooting with an iPhone, you know what I mean? You, you can't replace creativity. All this stuff can be bought. So, that's what's in my camera bag. I am award-winning documentary filmmaker, Michael Moroy. Log on to michaelmoroy.com. If you need a cameraman, give me a call, 866-273-2548. And I'm gone. Peace.